Are you seeking a sign from your loved one and still haven't received it? You need to stay tuned for this very important spirit message for one of my listeners out there who wrote me a question. Her name is Abby about her sister wanting a sign. She said, my mom, Caroline, died in 2017. I emailed you back then and you replied, she guides a child that bears her name in honor of her loving spirit. In July 2020, I sent an email. You said a sister and or a daughter must stop worrying about the past. This refers to my daughter, Elizabeth, and my sister, Caroline. My sister... Her namesake was close to mom her whole life, and she did more for my parents than any of the six kids. She wants a sign. She has never seen a cardinal, and she feels she's the only one who has yet to be visited. Mom, please send Caroline a sign so she can feel some closure. Your memory lives on with us, and we all talk and laugh about you all the time. Abby. Dear Abby. Your mom hasn't forsaken Caroline at all because she's her namesake. And if you've listened into my show for this long, you've recognized that I always acknowledge my callers that when they have a namesake, it is their spirit guide. And so your mom can't be parted from your sister at all because she's her heart. The second thing, Abby, is that your sister Caroline may overlook her supernatural signs. As you mentioned, her memory lives on, especially when the family is together laughing and crying, talking about her. Well, she's among that discussion with you as she would have been if she had been alive. It's very similar to telephone. When we have the idea and we're thinking of a loved one or we're thinking of a friend, then boom, all of a sudden the phone rings and they call a psychic connection. Our spirits are always together. There's no disconnection. We're always all together, all one. A third sign is that your mom's spirit is radiating through all of her children, all of her grandchildren. For instance, it might be the way somebody laughs in the family or the way they walk or a behavior that's annoying or funny. That is her spirit coming through to remind you how present she is in your life. Your mom also says that she's come through in a dream. Those dreams are one of the primary ways mediums make contacts with loved ones or spirits on the other side. So don't dismiss those experiences. And Caroline is never without your mom's company. Our hearts make the connection to spirit, which is uniquely personal. So your connection to a cardinal is a sign that your mom is present with you, but it might not be the exact connection your sister Caroline has. The other thing I find with a lot of my callers and my clients is that grief has got a really heavy hold upon us. It's a lower vibration. It's in the fear zone that we've lost. And there is no loss when it comes to our loved ones. They're always with us, as I've reiterated so many times on all my calls. But that block can prevent us from actually experience the love from spirits of our loved ones. One of the ways that you can help your sister break through the block of grief is giving her a hug. According to Dr. Kubler Ross, who says we need 12 hugs a day. The other thing that blocks a person from receiving a sign is disbelief in the afterlife. We all have that connection. We all have that supernatural ability to make connection to spirit because our spiritual beings having a human experience. So your prayer to ask your mom to give Caroline a sign may help, but it's really got to come from Caroline. The final thing that blocks most people from receiving a sign is death, is second to public speaking as a top fear among all people. That's something we don't even want to think about. Besides that, there's a lot of misinformation out there about 
the afterlife and communications with spirit that have made us afraid. I can't make anybody believe it's a personal choice for any person such as Caroline. If she is truly ready to have that personal experience, she must open and ask herself. I hope that helps, dear Abby, you and your sister to make that connection and as well for other family members out there and anybody else who's listening in, know that the first number one thing is go hug someone today and that will help you open up your heart and your mind to receive spirit connection right here, right now. If you have a question for me, like Dear Abby, then there's two ways you can do that. You can send me a question by joining the Facebook Radio Medium Laura Lee group. It's pinned at the top, and if I select your question, I'll answer right here on air. And or you can go to my website, radiomediumlauralee.com, and look for email questions. It's been a pleasure serving for you today. And if you'd like to tune in your spirit each and every day, subscribe to the podcast and please rate it and share it with your family and friends, and we'd appreciate that. Thank you.